Hello there my fellow Hollow Table heroes and welcome to another Swaga video. So I'm back in territory battles on the Genosis, uh, the Republic Offensive, so that's the light side. And I'm here in phase 3, uh, the Rick mission, uh, where you get a chance to earn some shards uh, for your guild. So let's go in and you obviously want to have Shakti lead. Let me first uh, show you the mods I'm taking in. So uh, modded Shakti for speed and health. So these are her stats right there. Uh, she's Relic 1, which is slightly concerning, but you know, see if she will be able to hang in there. And we got Echo up next. Uh, I just have him modded for critical damage and offense, uh, as well as a little bit of speed. So that's his critical damage and then his offense stats. Okay. There we go. Then we got Rex. Uh, same like Shakti, modded for health uh, and for speed. Okay, and then next is Fives. He's purely modded for health as well as some speed. Okay, there we go. And then finally, Arc Trooper, modded for offense, not critical damage, but for offense and of course speed as well. And these are his stats for offense. All right. Um, now I've seen a few guides on YouTube and different videos, different strategies. So I'm not going in completely blind, but I have never been able to complete this mission yet. I've only attempted it, I think, like three or four times, and so far. But um, I'm hopefully we'll have better luck this time. So let's go into the battle. Hostiles ahead! Careful of the Rick and the Bounty Hunter. Whether you are beast or otherwise, you're all targets to me. Here we go. Oof! That was a big hit from Rick. Oh, come on, guys, attack him. He's the real threat, not me. Um, all right, here we go. So I guess the first thing to do is take out the B2s. Um, so I'll just go after them. Now. Looking at other guides, they, they suggested not to use Rex's middle ability until uh, J Django does his burning, so I'll hang on to that one. Uh, so I'll just start working on uh, B2. Now, here thinking, oh yeah, I'm just gonna do mass attack here with Shakti and, you know, we'll take these guys out quickly, but uh, because of this nasty debuff uh, that Rick inflicted on us, which is called Trampled, uh, there is a bit that basically you can't counter assist or gain bonus turn meter or bonus turn. So all the assists and attacks out of turns, nah. -uh. If your guys have trampled, they won't be able to do that. And on top of it, they also lose max protection and defense, making them more squishy when they are trampled. Okay. Um, so we just want to take out these B2 droids as fast as possible, but because of no attacks out of turn, this might take a while. Um, so now with Shakti, uh, basically she's only really doing two things here. Uh, one is using this ability here, training exercise, which, uh, you know, regains some health and protection on the target ally, uh, as well as the stand your ground ability that's uh, specific to this event. And with this, um, you can dispel trampled uh, from the target ally. Okay. So the idea here is that um, you always use stand on your ground on Shakti, uh, so then she's gaining uh, lots of that she's gaining them bonus turn meter because if she's trampled she won't be able to gain any turn meter, and the more turns she has the faster she can heal other clones. So let's uh, get trampled off Shakti there. Okay, and. Alright, so Five's got buff immunity, so he will not taunt. And because we removed uh, Trampled from uh, Shakti, we can actually call her to assist now. Okay, so let's do an AoE. Here we go. Alright. Now Shakti gets another turn, uh, so let's try and uh, top up Rex here. Here we go. Alright. Uh, let's keep using basic here. All right. Okay. So yeah, uh, when um, Arc Trooper gets a turn, you you want to put the the turret 
onto Rex, because Rex is your fastest clone, so the more turns he gets, the more times Turret will assist. Okay. Alright, um, hmm. So Shakti doesn't have uh, here trampled yet, so do I just attack here or... Um, okay, let's, let's remove from 5 so he can gain bonus turn meter as well. Okay, excellent. So let's take out B2. Alright, so after B2 is out, then it's basically a case of taking out Django before you can take out Rick. Um, as you will notice, Django there is trampled as well. Um, and he's got damage immunity. So because he has damage immunity, if I hit him now, this will do absolutely no damage to him. So damage immunity will disappear if uh, one of your uh, clones that is targeting him has more stacks of trampled. So in this case he's got one stack of trampled and so does my echo. Therefore there is damage immunity on him and echo will not be able to damage him. The only clone at the moment for me that will be able to actually do damage to Django is Arc Trooper because he's got two stacks. So more. All the other guys have one stack, so they will not be able to damage him. So we can't damage him, let's go after Rick then. Okay. Alright, so Django used the burning and now I can actually cleanse. Here we go. Okay. And I do not want uh, to use this ability here because Fives will then taunt and we don't want Fives taunting, we want him to sacrifice. So let's just attack him, okay, again I can't do anything to Django, uh, the moment only Rex and Arc Trooper will be able to damage him, uh, so that's okay, and so I just, uh, no I don't want to put this on fives, dispel all buffs, targeting, yeah, attacker stealth, huh. Okay, fine, let's just use basic, nothing else we can do here. That's it Django, hit him, not me, hit him. Alright, so there you go, see? Um, Arc Trooper has got more stacks of Trample than Django, and now the damage immunity uh, disappeared on Django. So now let's target him and try to take him out. But now it's Echo's turn, and he's got the same amount of stacks of Trample as Django, and there goes damage immunity, so we can't damage him. So that's how you have to play this here with Django. Alright, let's, so let's throw a grenade. Uh, even though this is an AoE and we won't be able to damage him, uh, because Echo's special offense is higher than his physical offense, uh, whenever you can, even though it's just a single um, target damage, use his grenade, because it will do more damage than his basic. Okay, so there you go, Rex. He's got two stacks of Trampled, whereas Django has one, so Rex can damage him, so let's go. That's it, Django, help us a bit there, help us. Alright, again, let's go. Okay. Uh, Alright, so Shakti can't damage him, so let's... Uh, does this recover health? Yes, okay, then let's recover some health here on Rex. Okay. Alright. Okay. Uh, do you know what? Uh, do we want to execute him? Yeah, might as well. Uh, because Aerial Advantage doesn't really um, do much damage to Rick, so no point saving it for, for Rick. I'll just take Django out. Okay. Here we go. And after you kill Django the first time, then he, uh, the stacks of trample on him will disappear. So which means now that everybody here on my team can damage him, so taking him out the second time is much easier. Okay. Let's throw up an enemy there. Okay, so yeah, let's again uh, remove Trample from Shakti. Okay. Alright. Oh! That was a big hit. Deal physical damage to target enemies. Okay, so uh, his charging strike uh, applies expose uh, on your guys. 
Uh, so that's why we want to actually put an asset here up so he can't apply expose on us. Okay. Well, let's see if we can take him out. Come on. Okay, he's into yellow. But our stacks of trampled keep going up, which means we are more and more squishy. Alright, so here I want to show you that Rex has aerial, aerial advantage, does basically nothing to Rick. There you go. 10k extra damage. It's something, but it's not really enough. Come on. Almost gotcha. Come on. No, 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 no. Here we go. One more hit. Okay, tenacity up. And there you go, guys. I managed to complete the mission. Excellent. So uh, this is the first time that I was actually able to complete this mission. I've tried it before without success. Uh, I even tried it uh, uh, as well in my other account uh, in current territory battles and I failed. Uh, at the beginning uh, I just lost fives and wrecks straight away for some bizarre reason. It was a really weird sequence. Uh, but this one well went pretty well I think. Um, so you can see it's actually not as tricky as it looks like this mission once you understand Okay, I have to take out B2s first, and because of Trampled, uh, I can't attack out of turn. Uh, so just make sure, you know, with Shakti, uh, that you remove that from Shakti herself, so she can get lots of bonus turn, and then heal up usually Rex, because he's the squishiest. Um, and then you have a chance as well to remove Trampled from Fives, so he can get bonus turn as well. And after B2s are down, actually, um, I think from then on out is quite straightforward. Um, you just uh, need to take out uh, Django with uh, your guys uh, that have more stacks of trample than him. And from there on out it was quite straightforward really. Um, so I think the most RNG is in that opening sequence, who attacks who and things like that. Uh, but after you get uh, B2s out uh, with all your five guys still standing like I did in my video, from there on out I think it's pretty straightforward. So guys, I hope you find this video useful, uh, showing you, you know, how this uh, mission works and how to use attacks and when. Uh, if not, let me know in the comments below. I'm happy to answer any questions uh, that you may have. But until then, have fun, enjoy your life, and may the RNG be with you, my friends.